Listín Diario Editorial for June 5th of 2024. The risk of concentration of power. Knowing that the electoral results give his party almost absolute control of the state, President Abinader made a solemn promise to use that power with great prudence, always with consensus. His intention, he said, is to promote crucial structural reforms with the political and civil society sectors under a kind of new pact for development. Let's take the president at his word to ensure that he fulfills it in the spirit of a strained democracy and expanding the climate of general well-being. If you stick to this line, you will be better protected from giving in to the temptations that could arise from the concentration of power, such as using your legislative and municipal majority to unilaterally impose policies. The premise that democracies die due to the concentration of power works out perfectly as its reverse side. That is when power is diluted through the illegitimacy of their actions. Now that two electoral experiences of high abstention have been evident, reflecting what could be a real reluctance towards the existing model of democracy, the president's promise takes on more value and importance. On his shoulders, he will not only carry the responsibilities of decisions he makes outside of consensus, but also that of being a guardian of a democracy in reconstruction. That will be in the face of history, its most relevant legacy, stopping the Halloween out of democracy in the face of either of the two sources that eroded, maintaining tooth and nail a connection with society through consensus. There will always be those who whisper in your ear that with the level of omnipotent command you have received, you can avoid the duty of being transparent and not accountable to the country for your decisions. This is what dictators or exponents of the new authoritarian democracies that emerge from resounding electoral victories usually do, such as that of Bukele in El Salvador, who prides himself on considering himself a cool dictator. The propensity for censorship of the press and of free opinion in a society is one of the irresistible temptations into which a ruler with a high concentration of power in his hands can easily fall. The ability to assimilate and allow criticism is a quality of truly democratic precedence, as is governing with consensus, as Abinader has promised. This is what society will want as he begins his new mandate, defending a mature and functional democracy that we have had for more than six decades after decapitating a harsh tyrant who thought his power and glory will be eternal. For Listing Diario, voice over and translations by Indira Rodriguez.